However, the English countryside is traditionally a setting for the arts of peace. Over the centuries, the Sussex Downs have known the sword and the plowshare. They've rung with battle cries and with the song of the yeoman watching his herds and taken both in their stride. But for a whole generation now, they've been hearing another kind of song. It all started when a master from Eton called John Christie inherited a family property, a quiet country house called Blankwan. Christie didn't want to be just another country squire. His dream was to make Glyndebourne a mecca for lovers of opera, and he succeeded magnificently. Every summer, from May to August, Lewis Station, in the heart of the Downs, offers the unusual sight of men and women in evening dress in the middle of the afternoon, on their way to hear opera of a standard second to none in the world. Why the evening dress? John Christie insists on it. Evening dress, he says, is not snobbery. Its purpose is to give the public trouble. We take a great deal of trouble. The public must do the same. And he maintains that the public agrees with him. A bust of John Christie dominates a corner of the garden but the man himself dominates the whole idea of blind boy. No one can deny its success. The entire season is always sold out weeks before it begins. The combination of great art, party clothes, and a country picnic may be unique, but it has certainly caught on. Singers and musicians regard it as an honor to perform at blind boy. No fantastic fees are offered, for Glyndebourne is unsubsidized and must pay its way. Nor is it the novel atmosphere that tempts them to come here. It is simply that Glyndebourne aims at perfection, and they, as artists, are proud to meet the challenge. When the opera begins, nature itself seems to listen in rapture. Mm -hmm. 